don't interfere with anything, try not to say anything or touch anything that might affect Dr. Wallace's work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. I can count on you. Perfect. Use your tunnel vision so we can get back there and get so we can get there and back quickly. We'll see you soon. Bye. And goodbye to you too, Rivet. River should be here uh, there for any second now. Give him a chance to get over there. And let's watch the monitor and see what Rivet sees.
I'm sure you won't have any trouble. So yeah, we'll start with Workshop of Wonders. This was, is a fast one, lots of words, lots of moves. <laughs>
morning. Good morning. Uh, as you know, today our story is about Esther. Do you know that? <laughs> um, Esther was a very fine lady. I'm going to put this down a little so my glasses don't fog up. And she had a good imagination. So our story of Esther, I want you to see if you can see how she used her imagination. Your mind is an amazing tool given to you by God. With your mind, you can picture a hippopotamus or remember your name, how old you are. Remember your name and imagine what a story looks like when you hear it. Isn't that wonderful? Our imagination is amazing. God made the world to be a workshop of wonders. And each of us is a workshop of wonders because God is always at work, helping us to become what God wants us to be. Now we're going to learn about Esther. She was a caring, intelligent woman who became a queen. Our story today, and here is Esther, who became a queen, and she was living with her cousin Mordecai. Our story today has four characters in it. So, we need a way to remember who is who. The king wears a crown. So, every time I say the king, I want you to make a crown with your hands by putting your palms on the side of your head and opening up your fingers like the top of a crown. Um, every, every time you hear the name Aster, I want you to cheer and say, yay, because she is our hero. She lived with her older cousin, Mordecai, after her parents died. He was always looking out for her, so when you hear Mordecai's name, do the lookout sign like this. You know how you put your hand up to your forehead, like you're looking out? And move your hand, well, look out and move your hand like this. Haman is the bad guy. When you hear me say Haman's name, put your thumb down. We don't like Haman. He is not a very nice man. So let's practice. Who, how do we do the king? The king wears a crown. Esther, yay, yay, is our hero. Mordecai is always looking out for Esther. And Haman is the bad guy. Yes. All right. Now, here is the story of Esther. Yay. 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 Okay. <laughs> that was a practice. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's see. The king decided it was time for a new queen. So he had all of the most beautiful women in his enormous kingdom brought to him. Among the women was Esther. Yay! Yay! Who had been living with her always watchful cousin named Mordecai. Mm -hmm. Just like you might try out for a team or a play, each woman was given the chance to visit the king and try out for the role of queen. The king was very picky and gave a thumbs down, we'll do that, to one contestant after another. One day, it was Esther's Yay. turn to go before the king. 
The king liked her so much that he chose her to be his new queen. Meanwhile, the king had a sneaky, scheming assistant in his court named Haman. <laughs> Haman only thought about what was good for him and didn't care much for anyone else. Haman especially didn't like Esther. In Cousin Mordecai, in Cousin Mordecai's relatives, the Jewish people, in fact, he wanted to get rid of all of them, thousands of people. One day, Cousin Mordecai was standing near the temple wall and overheard Haman take, talking about his plan. Cousin, about his plan. Okay. Cousin Mordecai sent word to Esther Yay! that he needed to, let, to tell her something very important. At first, she didn't come. She only sent a messenger. This made Cousin Mordecai upset because he knew that the lives of thousands of people depended on her talking to the king. He sent her another message. If you don't speak up at this very important time, relief and rescue will appear for the Jews from another place. But who knows? Maybe it was for a moment like this that you came to be part of the royal family. Now, Esther Yay! realized how important it was to change the mind of the king. But she was afraid. She knew she was not supposed to go to the king unless he asked for her. What could she do? She used her imagination. She came up with a great idea. Instead of going to his throne room, she invited him to a special dinner in his honor. It made him so happy that he said he, he would give her anything, up to half of his kingdom. And do you know what she asked for? Esther Yay. Yay. <laughs> asked for the king to come to another dinner the next night. This time she invited Haman Haman, Haman, Haman thought this was a big honor and was very happy until he saw Cousin Mordecai. And all his happiness was gone, just like that. At the dinner, Esther Yay! told the king she was... She, that she, what she had heard from Cousin Mordecai and announced that Haman tricked the king into signing a law that would get rid of the Jewish people. The palace guards grabbed Haman and carried him away. The king changed the law. All the Jewish people were saved and Cousin Mordecai was given a place of honor in the court of the king. Now, all of this happened because a young woman trusted God, used her imagination, and found the courage to do something very brave. And that is the story of Esther. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Miss Jennifer. We can leave that for the, for the story of Esther. Wow! Did Esther have a great imagination? Yes. 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 If it's God given us imaginations, absolutely. We're going to say goodbye to those who are watching on the video now. And um, bye bye. Bye, everyone. We're going to move to our science. So, um, if
Miss Serenity would like to go with Miss Jennifer. <laughs> 